hi everyone welcome back in this video we are going to talk about set filter and set range function in business central before we proceed i would like to tell you that this is my github page where you can find the code for your references whatever i am discussing in the video i will be posting it here and this is my blog you can find the complete information about uh, whatever the topic which i am posting i'll be given giving in the written format okay so you can follow my blog please click here click on any blog any uh, post you can find this page and please follow the follow my blog i'll also be up, uploading the link in the description please check it so let us go to the uh, topic set filter and set range so both are the filters but what is the difference between these two that is what we are going to find out so the first one is set filter so this is a microsoft uh, by itself they have provided many document to learn you can find it this is set filter okay so what happens if you use the set filter so by the name itself you can find that it will assign some filtering okay you can filter the data uh so uh, anyhow in business central you will be having a uh, uh, you will be having an option for filtering okay for every column but what is the speciality that if you want to filter a specific set of field often okay you don't want to go and check that you don't want to go and uh, uh, click in the filter you can directly create it as a trigger or you can also make it as oh, on page like whenever the page is open the filter has to apply so likewise you can write it so this is the syntax for that page that is record dot set filter so whatever the record you have that record you have to write it dot set filter is a function and you have to pass which field you wanted to filter and what are all uh, the value you wanted to pass it okay so in that you can use all these characters that is dot 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 which means rate for example if you have a number filter okay it might be a invoice number or it may be an item a number whatever it may be so you wanted to get the filter that is you wanted to filter the number uh, which is between 1000 to 2000 okay i hope you can understand this dot 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 which means all the number between 1000 to 2000 will be filtered if you want only the 1000 record that is a number 1000 record then you can simply give 1000 okay and if you wanted to use and for example only 1000 and 2000 record that is only two records you wanted to uh, 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 get back then you can do like this okay so like this you have various options you can use that is various operators you can use so these are all the operators you can use it while writing the filter so you can use dot 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 uh, you can use am present which means and okay both the um, Uh, both the values which is you have mentioned in the filter this is or this is a piping character that you can find it above the enter keyword okay and this is less than some number for example if you wanted to find the price of any any quantity which is less than 5000 like that okay less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to not equal to has tricks forms a part of a value and at case symbol so whatever you wanted to use it you can just try that the next one is like this is what the example okay i'll just show you this is the example you can find it so this is the gl account rec so this is actually a record okay i'll show you with an example i will uh, write the code and uh, tell you so don't worry you just understand okay so for example if you wanted to uh, get all the accounts in the range from 100 to 200 and number 300 okay find understand the difference 100 to 200 for example even if you have the record number like 101 102 199 Two hundred, for example, if you have four, so if you put like hundred to two hundred, you will get all these records, okay. And number three hundred in the sense you will be getting only three hundred record, okay. So totally you'll be getting five records from the particular table. If you put like hundred to three hundred, anyhow you'll be getting this. okay 100 to 300 and if you put like 100 to 400 i hope you can understand what is the difference right and 
or in the sense you will be getting uh, and number or whatever you are writing in the script you will be getting that so let us write first write the code for that okay so i am going to extend the item list page so i am going to use t page extension okay and i'm going to use the id here this should be the unique id and you have to write the extension name here um okay set filter and range okay and i'm going to extend the target page so i have to use item list so i'm finding item list here okay so i have used the item list here i'm going to delete uh, this layout which i don't want we'll be deleting it completely okay i'm going to use the trigger i'm going to call this uh, set filter and set a uh, range in a trigger you can try it in anything like even if you wanted to make it as a on page trigger okay if you wanted to make it as on page you can just go ahead and write it in the on page trigger if you want if you launch the page immediately you want to uh, that page should be with this trigger then this filter then you can go ahead with this okay that is also fine so let me just show you with an easy example so actions and i'll be uh, because since we are going to write the action we have to tell where you have to uh, fix it because i have extended the page right so add first and then inside that i am writing processing that is first in the processing and then action and i'm going to write a set filter <clears throat> set filter is my action name and since it has to be displayed in everywhere so i'm going to set the application area is equal to or whatever the caption you want even if you want a caption set filter as my caption and if you want to go with the promoted is equal to true so whatever the cap whatever the properties which you want to do here you can just go ahead with this okay a promoted category promoted as big fine so whatever you want you can just go ahead and directly i'm going to the trigger trigger on action so what it should what i have to do is what i wanted to find the record okay record dot set filter so you have various functions here we'll be discussing about all these things uh, in the upcoming video so this particular <clears throat> thing will just get clarified okay set filter so once if you just uh, hover over this particular function you can see that what are all the parameter which you have to pass it okay field you, you have to definitely pass the field and then you can set what is the filter you want okay so i'm just going to pass the field here once if you click you can see what are all the fields available here so i'm going to filter it on the number and then uh i am going to just use 1000 okay i want only 1000 filter 1000 uh, that is the uh, uh, number 1000 okay and you can it is ended fine so the another thing is make sure that in the launch.json you have used the if you are using item list then it should be 31 okay so every if everything is done you can just save it okay save this press control and s and then let us also execute control and f5 so you can see here that this is the process and if you click here you can see set filter okay and if you click the filter you can see that there is a number okay and i'm sorry there is no 1000 number so let me go and change it uh, as 1003 okay so here you can see that you can see that 1000 is not here only 1003 like that so let me again execute it i have changed it to 1003 and if i execute it okay so here if i go and click here and click set filter you can see that only 1003 is appearing here and so i hope you understand set filter okay you can try the combination like whatever is given here uh, uh that is here you can find the complete example how to use the range okay and how to apply that everything you can understand you can easily understand but the basic thing i hope you understand how to use the set filter and what is the purpose of the filter okay so set filter will uh you can just make it as a specific uh range where what you have to filter it okay on page on init page or open page on open page or might be in the trigger 
got it so let us go with the next one which is a set range okay so even this is also a filter set range is also a simple filter but what is the difference in set range you have to tell what is the field from value and to value okay you cannot use like am present that is uh, operators between this to this okay you are setting a range okay for example if you take a unit price okay you wanted to find uh, what uh, how many uh, records are there between 5000 to 15000 okay based on the unit price between 5000 to 15000 then you can go ahead with a set range you can just filter this if you if you want a filter without any uh, any dot dots or ampersands or r or not equal to okay then you can probably go ahead with a set filter okay if you want to go with the range of some value if you want to filter that then then you can go ahead with the set range okay let us also write it right for that i am just going to create an another action which is for set range okay uh, and this is for set range and you can see i'm just making uh, whatever the thing whatever the basic properties you just wanted you can just uh, do it uh, okay and uh, is equal to true and the promoted category is equal to process and i'm just going to directly go ahead with the trigger on action and i'm just using it to use the begin and end and record dot i'm sorry record dot set range you can find all the functions here so whatever is uh, is uh, the icon which you find it as a cube that means it is a function okay so i'm just using set range and inside you have to tell what is that so i'm just going to use unit price okay so let us see whether i have okay unit price let us just go ahead because it's there and it should be between 5000 to 15000 okay so this is from okay from which to which what is the range range of value you just wanted to find that's it it's very simple so i'm just saving this and if you execute this code let us see how it is looking like okay so it is saving just press control and s to save this and control and f5 to execute this to see how it works so here you can just scroll and see what are the unit price we have okay um this is the unit cost we have used on the unit price great so you can see unit price 45090 19540 everything are here okay so let me just apply the filter that is a set range okay once if you click set range you can see only the data which is between 5000 to 15000 here in the unit price you can see that it is showing only the value which are between 5000 to 15000 so what is the thing is like if you write a filter if you use greater than 15 5000 uh, then you can you can use the operators in the set filter where set range it is not basically possible okay so when you use a set range you can see that these are the thing which you it should you should apply okay these are the following rules which applies set range removes any filter that were set previously and replaces them from from value to the uh, to value okay for example even though if you apply any filter here uh, for example here also you can see these are all the filters you have okay you can also use this filter or else if you wanted to use a custom filter that is customized filter then you can go ahead with a set filter all the set range okay so that is what they are telling if already a filter is there then the set range will replace us that okay and if you use a set range without setting from value and to value the method removes any filter that are already set okay the set value that is the from and to value though so where we have applied this is the from value and this is the to value okay and if you only set the from value the to value is set to the same value as the from value if you set only the to value okay and you haven't uh, set this value then it will be same okay the same value will be applied for both the thing okay these are the few conditions which you have to uh, which you have to view okay and set filter which we have discussed so what is a set filter and when you will be using it how you can use it this is what greater than everything you can just go ahead with the set filter like this
okay it's like a more general way as they said so uh, here how you can use the set filter they have specified very clearly here okay and this is how you can use and and if you use uh, greater than the specific value and uh, and it should not be equal to this specific value okay then you can apply this got it so this is how you can use set filter and set a uh, set range we will also discuss about all these function okay we will also discuss about get range get filter in the next video get range get min get max uh, get filter and everything hope you find this video useful if you have any queries please leave a message and uh, these videos which are all which i am posting is specifically for technical consultants um basically i'm not a functional consultant so uh, i don't know like what is exactly happening in the functional consultant part if you have any queries please leave i'll definitely help you out thank you take care bye bye